Born July 11, 1933, Mary Hopkins spent a lifetime earning her place in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. An AQHA member since Harry Truman was in the White House, Mary Hopkins, Miss Mary, was well known as a top flight trainer and top level judge throughout Mississippi and the Southeast. Mary Hayes Holmes added Hopkins to her name in 1952, the same year she and her new husband, Ed Hopkins, joined AQHA. They welcomed daughter Andrea in 1954, and five years later founded their Hopping H Ranch on 75 wooded acres of what they called Hills and Holes, a few miles southeast of Vicksburg, Mississippi. Providing horses and riding lessons for an all-girls school in Vicksburg, the Hopping H was adamant that a good horse is a good horse and had a variety of breeds, but they preferred American Quarter Horses, such as Pearl Bristow, a mare of Peter McHugh, and Joe Bailey, blood that they bred to the King P234 grandson, Poco Paxton, to produce the Palomino Colt, Brister King. A member of the Mississippi Quarter Horse Association for more than 50 years, Mary spent immeasurable time volunteering, teaching, judging, and serving in numerous offices for the AQHA state affiliate. As Mississippi's first youth advisor for AQHA, she took her charges to the inaugural American Junior Quarter Horse Association World Championship Show in 1972 and the All-American Quarter Horse Congress in Columbus. Working with the Dixie National Quarter Horse Show in Jackson, Mississippi, as everything from exhibitor to manager, secretary and ringmaster, she helped establish the Dixie Nationals Equestrian with Disabilities Competition, invented the halter stakes and designed the distinctive ribbons and medallions awarded to Dixie winners. Mary created the show's Southern Classic nickname and in 2015 helped guide the celebration of the 50th anniversary of the Dixie National. Mary passed her interest in and love for horses to her daughter, who rode Brister King to a performance register of merit and superior in cutting. It was through their mother and daughter connection that Mary, in 1961, became the first 4-H light horse club leader in the Magnolia State. Throughout the 60s, 70s, and 80s, Mary and Andre trained horses and hauled youth to shows around the country, helping to make numerous world champions and AQHA champions. Unfortunately, everything changed in 1989 when Andre died in her sleep. Honoring her daughter's dream to have camps devoted to teaching disabled persons to handle and ride horses, Mary founded the therapeutic riding program Equa Able Inc., a nonprofit organization through which she trained hundreds of volunteers and gave countless hours of lessons to the disabled with no rider ever charged for the work. Though celebrated as the first horse lady of Mississippi, neither Mary's efforts nor the recognition of them were limited to people who prefer to survey the world from atop a horse. She also served on Mississippi's Children's Justice Task Force, and Vicksburg selected her as a hometown hero to help carry the Olympic torch across town in 1996. In 1997, Mary was the inaugural recipient of the Merle Wood Humanitarian Award, established by the American Quarter Horse Foundation to recognize benevolence, philanthropy, charitable, and humane efforts. Mary was presented the AQHA Special Recognition Award in 2004 and the Professional Horseman's Lifetime Achievement four years later. In 2010, Mary was inducted into the Mississippi Quarter Horse Association Hall of Fame, and three years after that, MQHA named her Most Valuable Professional. With a lifelong love for young people, Mary was involved in some capacity with Mississippi 4-H until her death on July 19, 2020. Through her life and career, Miss Hopkins has accomplished her goal of teaching and mentoring young people, says Margaret Missy Theobald of Vicksburg. Not only did I grow up with Mary, my mother was her childhood friend, so I know Mary through old family and the horse industry as well. I was a regular throughout her professional horse career and know her programs well. Mary started thousands of riders and showers and promoted the quarter horse from the beginning. She was instrumental in the growth of AQHA and proudly proclaimed the basics of horsemanship and showmanship. The lady, whose love for horses and people and her dedication to bringing them together, now takes her place in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. Miss Mary is right where she belongs. Welcome Mary Hopkins into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. Music